Well, here we are once again, people. This is always walking along Greenock Road. And we're heading towards Clune Park in the dark. For whatever bizarre reason, we've elected to come back at night. Well, I have no idea what's ahead of us here. And we really don't have a clue. We know it's, well, you saw the last video, you saw what it was like, so we've no idea what, what to expect up here. That's a train going by, if you can hear that. You should be able to. Yeah, there it goes. You should probably have been able to see for a second there were some lights on in the houses, and that's because we've come up to the populated side, because we'd rather not go in the way we came last time, knowing how dodgy it's supposed to be up here, especially this late at night. Yeah, well, one of the one of the sides that's populated, the other side that the church is populated, and then behind that's populated again, but... These are the tenements aye, that are abandoned, aye, though, that's why exactly. Clint Park's into us. Exactly. Right. Well, that's us going in, once again. We're going to try and keep a bit hush so as not to disturb the people that are living in this block. Oh, they just stepped foot in the scheme, I'm already capping that wee bit. Because of the movement in the bushes there. If you look, people, and we've got plenty of lighting, but, wow, it's so eerie, it's really, really eerie, it's even spooky, but sometimes your mind can play with you, and for those of you that haven't heard, as I said in the last video, these tenements are supposed to be haunted, so we say. People have seen things in windows at night and whatnot, but who knows. As I'm walking along here, my eyes are going everywhere. I mean to. In front, up and down, behind. And I'll tell you, my ears are pricked up. It's a bug. So this is us once again, we're back in Robert Street. Right. I'm going to slow it down a wee bit, people. So we're actually getting further in. We're also trying to keep our wits about this just in case. And there's a car or two up ahead, see that? Aye, they'll be in the Clune Park House. I'll pull that out anyway. Yeah, look. There's a light on in that house there. Eh? Right, so I'll keep it on. Aye, that'll be the A-hole one. Just there, no bother then. Stop, stop. Listen, people, listen. There's that alarm again. Oh, same one. Pounding by the way. I mean to. I see a bit moving. Even for the left hand. Yeah. I'll let you look back. There's Jack. What are we like coming up here at this time? It should be about the, you know, 20 past 9 mark. That's that bird again. I think it was about 20 past 9, if not later. You're a crap myself then. Up top. Yeah. Once again, people respect the privacy, so. Well, 
pointing that up the way as well, so I don't catch this. I can't be bothered blurring out that number plate. Aye. So I won't capture it in the first place. Don't remember that hanging out the window. No, neither do I. That's a bit freaky. Maybe it was. Obviously this is the first block in the school in the church. Obviously we're not going to go around that side because yeah. that's supposedly a no-go. Unfortunately we can't go through it either. We can't go down into any of the blocks. So we make our way back. Once we get out of here we'd be as well going along the front. Huh? Sure. As you say, that looks definitely wasn't hanging out the window last time we played here, so who knows what's going on there. And, you know, the close is just totally cut off. Yeah. Once again, sorry about the camera shake, people. But we decided not to bring any gear with us at all other than the camera because... The situation. Um, fight or flight. <laughs> Well, the thing is, at the end of the day, we're a, we're a peaceful, friendly sort. Yeah, we're only a bit more about you. She's well bashed then. So we're passing along the green up road again. And this is where we were. On the way back. As you have a bang coming through the first block over there. Ah, oh, so did I. Well, we may have missed it yesterday, but look at that. It's so eerie this place that it's so overgrown that it looks as if this stuff's coming out to eat me. Oh, I had to have a wee bit of light hearted humour there. Yeah, especially with the fuel in this place at this time, isn't it? This is a 
second one. Oh, it's inside the second block. We just passed the middle of the second block. This is the rear of it. So dark. So yeah. dark. No lights, nothing. Nope. Right on you go. This is the first one we're coming up to now, just passing the second one. This is supposed to be the ultra super the dodgy one. Somebody up there now. Is there? Right, yeah, see it. We're yeah, about to pass by the, the back end of the, I suppose, box. Block, block number, one. block one. Unless this is block two and that was block three back there. Is there six? Aye. Aye. There's obviously still power going to the building, judging by the fact that there's fire alarms going off in there. Oh no, they're battery powered. Aye. A lot of the lights are on anyway. This is us past the first block and we're back at the road that we started at in the first place in the earlier video. Lots of Glen's she tags are out here. Right. That's probably the only team that came up here the most back in the day. Yeah, probably. And we're back at the high school sculpture project. So there's most definitely somebody in that one. In that one. Or at least it's the close lights it's on, we're not sure. Some power being left to the building, maybe. Yeah. This close was open though, wasn't it? Aye. I think it wasn't, can't remember. When you come around this side. Shoot. We'll see you in a second. So we're back in Robert Street again. Also, we've gotten over our fears, we've decided to come this way anyway. So, most definitely this close here is open. Yeah, so we just had a car passes there. They stopped for a wee minute, maybe they were checking the place out. We don't know if they're just up for a look around or, or checking us out. Ah, oh, close is definitely for somebody. Or a Yeah. Could be. Well, we had a community warden van pass there with television camera capabilities and we had somebody go by us, as you know, in a white van. Two young fellas got out and the woman that was driving the van to the car, she spoke away to us, very nice. and. Uh, Two younger younger men that were there, really nice as well. Um, all I can say is I think they're quite local, and it was good that they spoke to us. Right. So, so we just come up past the church again there and come up a wee set of steps and we've come onto this path. Up onto the road. And uh, the house is at the beginning on Robert Street at the end, they come in the very first time during the day. A lot of them are occupied, so I'm not even going to turn right here and show you down there. Right. Do that and get us off again. Well, that was a wee bit hairy there. We could have swore we heard somebody next to that after having it on, <laughs> supposedly, well, I suppose it was good information for friendly people. They had a wee look and we didn't want to go in. The coast smelled like smoke as well, right. so you could tell it wasn't that by the We heard a wee bit of noise in the house to the right of us. Which is also supposedly vacant, mind you. Yeah. So, just waiting for the motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> you crap my pants here. <laughs> right, continue. <laughs> right, anyway, so that's us had a wee night time wander about and we've done everything we could possibly do to not disturb anybody because, as you know, there are people here, whether it's in the blocks that we've just walked up past at the church or separated out in all the derelict places. So we've done what we can to not disturb them and once again, this is the two thirds. Until next time.